I'm bored. I think everybody has said that at least once in life. And for those of us who have children or grandchildren, you've probably heard our children or grandchildren say that many, many times. What does it mean to be bored? Two psychology professors in Canada, James Deckert and John Eastwood, wrote a book published recently called Out of My Skull, The Psychology of Boredom. They've written extensively in various magazines, articles, and this book about boredom. And boredom is not simple apathy. It's not somebody who just says, I want to sit on the couch and do nothing. And it's not the person who's trying to do something, but can't get it done. That's frustration. Boredom is when a person wants to be engaged in a different way. When a person wants to be doing something else, wants to feel alive in a way that they're not feeling at the moment. And that feeling of boredom can lead to wonderful things. Many great inventions have come about because of boredom. It can also lead to criminal behavior. There was a very sad story a number of years ago of a 79-year-old woman who went on a five-year crime spree stealing on buses. And she would steal everything that she could get, get her hands on. Money, pens, just all kinds of uh, useless things as well. Uh, newspapers. And when she was brought to court, she basically said, I did it because I was bored. My life was so boring that I had to find something else to do to make it exciting, to make it meaningful. And so, I was just stealing all this stuff, even if I wasn't getting any benefit out of it. How sad, how unfortunate. But as I mentioned, it also led people to invent things as well. So how do we deal with our boredom? In this week's Parsha, we find that Hashem says that He's going to provide the Jewish people with mon. Manna from heaven. Behold, I will cause bread from the heavens to rain down upon you. And the nation will go out. And they will collect it every day. It's appropriate a portion. And here's the kicker. Here's the important part. To test them, to see Will they follow my Torah or not? What exactly is this nisayim? What exactly is this test? Rashi says the test is to see whether they would follow the halachas that pertain to man. So for example, on Friday you collect a double portion. Shabbos, there's no man. The Ramban, the Rashbam, they say that the nisayim was different. Would the Jewish people have faith in Hashem? Every single day, they'd have to wait for that month. They had nothing in their cupboards. Would the Jewish people believe that their sustenance comes from Hashem? Or would they try to store it or find other means of making sure that they had food? But, Rabbi Nachman Mendel Panat, in his Sefer Magle Tzedek, suggests that perhaps there was a different Messiah on here. The test was, these people had time on their hands. A lot of time. Because they didn't have to struggle to work hard. It's not like they had 12-hour workdays, or 10-hour workdays, or 18-hour workdays. In fact, they didn't even have to work for an hour. They just went outside, picked up the mud, and boom! Their sustenance was provided for them. The Anane Akaba, the clouds of glory, protected them. There were no mortgage payments, there were no taxes. So what were they doing with all that free time? Were they playing video games? Or surfing the net? Or were they studying Torah? That's the test. 
How do we use that spare time when we have it? When we're not engaged, when we're bored, how do we unbore ourselves? What do we turn to to make sure that we don't feel bored? That's really the test. We have seen recently a number of celebrities who've made public declarations that they're no longer going to be involved with social media platforms. Some of them because it got them into trouble, they're embarrassed, but a number of them wrote that basically they were not engaging in healthy things. Because of their boredom, they were seeking attention and they were looking for it on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. And now they've recognized that, hey, I can exercise, I can read a book, I can pick up a hobby, and maybe I won't be so bored. Everybody, of course, needs some spare time to regenerate and to rejuvenate. It's important to relax. It's important to rest, obviously. But when we have spare time, and certainly the coronavirus, which has forced us to spend so much time at home, has in some ways provided us with extra time on our hands. The test is, are we going in the ways of Hashem's Torah? Are we using the time to study Torah? Are we using it to do acts of chesed? Are we using it to think of how I can do something nicer for my spouse, for my children, for my siblings, for my colleagues. And so hopefully we overcome this pandemic soon. But until that time, with all the spare time that you have on your hands, ask yourself the question that Hashem is asking. Hayelech b'sarasi imlov.